Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to Pacific Drive. This game is almost here. Big thanks to Ironwood Studios for hooking me up with a key so I can show you guys this game. Comes out in two days. Comes out on Thursday the 22nd. I'm lucky enough to get to show you guys some of this game. Got to do an early look of it last month when we got to kind of show you a text a preview of it. And I'm really excited about it. So... With the brand new game, you don't we don't get to pick up from where we left off. So I went through and redid the entire intro mission that I did and got pretty much right back to where I was at. So we are, you know, we did our first mission into the exclusion zone. We came back, we repaired our car, put the stuff on there it wants us to do, and you're pretty much caught up. So one of the things we got as an option to do now is that we can paint. Let me see, we got a decal kit and a radium driver. Okay. Well, let me slap this in my hand real quick and see where can I put this can I put you right here Ooh, cool how many of these do I get can I just make all my doors like stars and stuff oh that's cool we got rockets and stuff we're gonna do that on both sides it's given us the opportunity to kind of decorate our car out a little bit I'll show you a little bit more about what we can do with this in here in just a minute all right, so if you're brand new to the game, you don't know what's going on. This is our jalopy, our Griswold's family cruiser that we use to navigate through the exclusion zone, which is a terrible, terrible place. This is a little info sheet that you can use to show and hide all of the stuff you would need to do to get your car ready. As you can see up there, I don't have a hatch in my trunk because I can't make one yet. And my uh, makeshift headlight one of them got a little bit dinged up a little bit. See, it's hideously ugly. In order to make it, I have to make an electrical kit. I don't have that. The other thing that's in this game is right over here. Oppie, the woman that's trying to get us out of her shop, is allowing us to use our shops. We have this fabrication station, which is basically where you learn how to make all your blueprints. So you can go under here and you can see what your stable level is, your unstable, and your corrupt over there on the left side. And then based on if your stable energy is high enough, after you know the intro level learning of things, you got all these different things you can learn how to make. So like I already learned how to make a basic workbench. Even though I don't need to craft one, I can if I need to. And then the next one's going to be up is going to be a circuit board. So, no, this isn't a work. This is a steel sheet. I can work. This is a circuit board. You can see my stable energy isn't high enough. So anyway, this is this machine right over here is where you use to get all your fabrications, you know, your blueprints there. And then we have our magic friendly dumpster, which will just randomly spit out things that we need. But Oppie is sending us to see a place. Somebody called Cappy, and I, I'm not I'm not making up my own words. I promise this is <laughs> this is where she is wanting me to go. So like right over here, I believe is where I'm supposed to be going. And so she's like, "Hey, by the way, there's a thing within the game called remnants. We're still learning what those actually are, but a lot of people think that my car, which is the only functioning car in this game right at the moment." is the f only remnant in the world that's left and they're trying to prove that my car is or is not a remnant look at that that's just beautiful that's just beautiful anyway so that's what we're going to do we have to go over and see cappy you can see over in the far right hand side i have all my stuff i have to go to reach serum where is serum where are you at serum let me see that's unknown unknown that's serum right there all right so we'll mark it that is our route. We given two different options to go about getting there. So, garage is opened, and we are going to be leaving our little safety safe zone and heading out into the wide blue yonder, and hoping to God we make it back in one piece. Now, going out on these little excursions, what you need to do this for is because this is also how you go about collecting resources that you need to be able to learn how to craft things. So, duct tapes and plastics and cloths and metal and all the things that you need to be able to upgrade and build on your car you get by going out into these little bit of an excursion here so you leave the safe zone you head through this little gateway here and you get to travel to your next destination and it just randomly drops you in a spot so we're going up over here we can either take this route up through here or take this route up through here and you can kind of see if you highlight over them. Let me see. This one's a KLIM for a gateway. This one has no stable exits. Once you get into it, you can't leave the same way you left. I mean, the same way you came in. We're going to go here first. We'll go from here to the next level, uh, to the next area. So once you get into an area, and I'll show you once we actually get inside this place, it everything is so unstable that the way you come in disappears, basically. So you can see, oh, the gate is up. You cannot go back that direction again. We are in the damp forest. Damp forest is where you're going to spend a lot of time early on. 
And yeah, so that's that's what we're here to do. We're gonna do some exploring. We have our we have this bad boy right over here. Kind of shows where we can go. Let me, no, I don't want to clear you out here. Let me get rid of you. So I have this entire area up here. All these little bitty things. You can hit V to see your, your legend to show what all these are. We got cabins and buildings and Arda trailers and Arda towers. We can get certain resources. And apparently it's a little bit unstable. You can see how things are going crazy. But we're still in part of the story of the remnant part. Okay, calm down. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, did you just EMP my car? That's not cool. I mean, unless it gave it like a supercharge, then I'm, I'm okay with it at that point. But I'm going to guess it's not what you did. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy watching these kinds of videos. I've been really excited to bring this game back to the channel after I got to do the uh, preview of it. Let's go ahead and turn you off, save some gas. So if you enjoy the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. And if you're new here and you enjoy these kinds of videos, leave, you know, make sure you subscribe. That way you don't miss out on future videos. All right, let me do a quick scan of this and see if there's anything good inside. All right, so we got plastics and we got scrap metal. I do not have... I, wait, I might... No, I don't have a. I don't have anything to light anything up on me right at the moment here. It's just kind of dark and raining, so sometimes the uh, it's a little bit harder to see than others. Okay, I could use the scrapper on this to get some electronics. Let's see what we have in the chest first. Cloth, 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 and cloth. Okay. So a lot of the stuff that we're going to stop by to get in these places is going to be just random supplies. But we need all of those. You need like cloth. You need a lot of cloth to learn a lot of these blueprints. So it's good to stop in all these places and gather as many as you can. And hope things don't go absolutely terrible. There's still parts of the game that we are learning as we go here. I mean, we're still kind of in early tutorial mode. So it's, eh, eh. we'll see how much we actually know what we're doing as we get a little bit further into this. You take all of that. You can do a quick stack over here. You can just move your mouse over and hit T and anything that has a, a, la a matching stack over there, it'll move it over there for you. Saves a little bit of time. I'm going to can't kick your guitar for some reason. Anything else over here? Another radio. And that looks like it's about it for now. Okay, I'll leave all the rest of this stuff here. Okay, it sounds like the rain's letting up. It'd be nice if the sun would come up so we could see what we're doing a little bit better. Get back to our jalopy. Now, I'm not sure what that is over here. This glowing... I think it... My car is making noise. I think that's just a radio tower. I think that's what it is. But you can get some good stuff from the radio towers. There's a ton of... There's a ton of tools that you're going to make here, and there, there's so much that you can do with your car as far as upgrades as you go along. So that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to is that you get to customize the car however you want to, basically. And it's overall just a car, but eventually you can upgrade all the doors and the hood, and you can add certain kind of bumpers and side cargo and all these other utilities that you didn't really think about. All right, I'm going to park you right here for now. Will the lights stand off if I turn you off? Nice. All right, don't run the battery down. I'm going to come in here and use that to search. Oh, yeah? That doesn't sound safe. Let's see how much we can, how much we can see once we get in here. See if there's anything worth it. What are you? A transmuter? Let's do a scan of that. I don't think I learned that. I haven't. Let's see what you are. Transmuted rubber, seven... T what do you... Do I have any... I have one rubber on me. I don't know what you do. Hang on. Transmuted. Private field notes. Please find attached the installation plan, the newer compact LIM converter, along with my resignation from art effective immediately. Oh, okay. So that's new. And so this is what I need here is I need plastic. Okay, well, what are the odds you have like a whole lot of that in here that I can use just to kind of test this out the first time? That'd be great, you know? You're probably not going to make it easy on me, though, are you? Maybe, just maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, maybe. All right, that took us to five. We only need two more, and then we can kind of see what this little doohickey it does. Now, that's just cloth. You can eventually craft yourself a flashlight, so you or a flashlight or a portable flare. I mean, all flares are portable, but you know what I mean. Flares and things like that, so you can kind of light up the way a little bit, right, instead of just walking around in the dark. There is a way to learn how to light up the area a little bit. There's some... That sounds terrifying. Some electrical interference. 
So is that second level up there all that we had? I guess it's what it is. Hold on, let's do a quick glance around the back side, make sure it's not like a dumpster or anything back here I can search. Hey, look at that, a dumpster. Ooh. Wait, what are you? A crude door and a crude bumper. Um, I can't, I mean, I can take you with me, but my car doesn't need a crude door or bumper. It has those currently. What I need is one more piece of rubber and then we'd have that, right? I've got six on me. I can't just make rubber. See, I got a headlight out. I need to be able to get supplies for that. So things like coil wires and electrician's kit and repair kits and things like that. You have to have the pieces for them and then you got to learn how to make them. All right, so let's swing back around. Actually, let, let me pause real quick. Can I zoom out? Where am I trying to get to? Okay, what are you? An exit that is open. Okay, so this is where we need to get to. Way over that direction. What are the odds we can just go straight to it? Because we're trying to get to a specific location. We're trying to go, to go see Cappy because Cappy is going to be the one to tell us if our car is a remnant or not. They think it is of all the people that are talking to me. Now, Oppie is the main chick that she she's basically like, I'm going to do everything in my power to help you out so that you'll leave this place. Because she doesn't want me anywhere in here. I'm an outsider. You know, she's kind of set in her ways, that sort of thing. So she doesn't even want me here. So she's offering to, you know, give up everything to help me out, basically, as long as I promise to leave her the hell alone as soon as possible. All right, what is this green thing over here? By the way, there are enemy things in this world that can hurt you. There are things in this game that can absolutely destroy your car, and your car is your saving grace. Right at the moment in the damp forest, you can see in the top left, there's not any radiation here, but as the instability grows, the radiation level grows, and as it grows, then you start taking more damage too. So it's like, yeah, you know, some of these places, it looks like there's some fun stuff to loot in here, but it also looks like you're gonna get your skin melted off if you spend too much time here. Where we're going, we don't need roads. How close are we getting to this place? Oh, uh, we're not too far. We took a pretty good shortcut. Ooh, hang on. Is that a... Hang on. Pause. That looks like... Yeah, that's a, one of those electrical places over here that'll shock the crap out of you. I will worry about this sort of thing here in a little bit. Now, when you get to some of the places that don't have valid exits, what you have to do is you have to find some of the specific materials that you use to overcharge your tool over here your computer and it'll allow you to be able to open up a rift to get out and that's how you're able to escape some of those places Ooh, hang on park you for a second i'm just gonna leave you running hopefully the alternator will charge everything all right let's crack you up crack you open and see if there's anything in here duct tape i need road flares nice so if nothing else i can always use that to kind of light the way a little bit uh, you got a little bit of fuel in you, but I filled up before I left, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see. Can I... I guess I'll do a scan. Nice. Steel panel? Sweet. I think I have a steel panel already on my card, don't I? Yes, I do. Let's see. I have like a steel door, a crude door. Hello? Crude panel. So I've got... Oh, they glow in the dark. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know what you are, but leave me alone. Flora, we got to get to the next area. Got to get out of this. Hopefully, this exit is open without too many problems. And uh, what do you do? What are, is this just a mannequin? Oh crap! Uh, okay, so door took some damage. Both front panels took some damage. Oopsie. Okay, so pro tip: mannequins sitting out in the open. Don't run over them. They are booty traps. I did not know that. I mean, I guess that makes sense why you would have a random mannequin just laying about if you're going to use it to try and trap some people. But then uh, I'm wondering if there would get some more story about who put those mannequins out there and who they're trying to trap. If I have, like, the only working vehicle, are they leftovers from a different time? I'm not necessarily sure. We, we got uphill. Our old jalopy is pretty reliable, but it doesn't have the most amount of horsepower and torque. I mean, we're doing, what, 15 miles an hour? Hold on. What's the problem? Ooh, hang on. Gotta go check this, too. K-9 
Okay, get out. Oh, good. It looks like it's kind of lighting up a little bit. That'd be great. Yeah, see that right over there? There's a place you can get some you can get some materials from those sort of things, but you can also get electrocuted pretty good, too. Let's crack this open, see if there's anything good. Ooh, crude bumper. Okay, let's take all the stuff that we know we have. Crude bumpers will take... I mean, I'm not going... Why did the music just get loud all of a sudden? The ambient noises in this game are freaking creepy. I'm not even going to lie here. It sounds like... Well, it sounds like aliens are about to abduct you right there. And it sounds like there's like gigantic demonoid looking things. Speaking of. Did I just see a pair? No, no. I thought I saw a pair of eyes looking at me, but it's just a little dust particles. The game is absolutely beautiful too. Yeah, I see you, sir. I'm not going to run over you this time. Orange barrels. Guarantee that's not going to be a good idea. At least we have an open gate now We don't from this one. I'm going to guarantee that in the next one we won't have an open gate. And so what we'll have to do is we'll have to find the resources to be able to get back out. All right, so we're right here. We need to get right here. Do a fast travel. And we are in Sierra. This is an area I've never been to. A lot of these areas are areas I've never been to. So we get to learn what's here. The concept of it is a lot of fun to me. It's a survival game that's a little bit different. It's not on rails, kind of like the heat death game where you got the train. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's have a look at our radar. Perpetual stability. That's good. All right, what are, what are you? Okay, so we're right here. If we drive down to right here, that is an objective area. Okay, so we just need to follow the road, hang a right when it forks up here, and we should be good. Cool, let's punch it. Uh-oh. Oh. God, Sierra. Never See, there's Oppie. Think about this place ever again. Edor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Okay, that's that's uh, Oppie. She's begrudgingly helping us try and figure out all this stuff. We're heading to see Cappy, whoever that is. That uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Okay, that looks unsafe. That looks unsafe. Gigantic random saw blade cutting through the cutting through the yard there. I'm going to assume that would absolutely decimate my car. Fun times. Ooh, that's cool. Let's drive towards the large gigantic radioactive plasma rays coming off of stuff. Wait, hold on. Um, I think I've reached an objective point. Driver, are you sure about this? No. Well, that'll be fine. Sure, sure, sure. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy's still giving off after all these years. Look at that. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Look at that. You're going to take her side? Yep. This isn't about science. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. Yeah. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That That's... would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Shenanigans? We little shenanigans. Next person says shenanigans, I'm going to pistol whip. All right, so we're just going to follow the road because it kind of seems like the only safe way about this. I'm unfamiliar with this area. Careful. I say it's the only safe way to go about doing this and then almost, you know, wreck my car. By the way, you can flip your car just so you know. If there's like an instability and the ground shoots up underneath you, um, yeah, you can absolutely flip your car. And it's a little bit challenging to get back onto its wheels i will tell you that now i had just, <laughs> it took a little while for me to figure it out when i uh when i was kind of playing through the original tutorial to get back to where i was at yeah i flipped my car over in a field if i'd been recording you guys would have just seen me watch you know slowly pushing this thing down the hill uh, uh, back up back up back up back up back up put it reverse yeah yep yeah those little uh, relay poles pop up every once in a while. It's like a, another booty trap. Oh, do we get to ramp this place? 
Just the good old boys. Oh, crap. That's a good way to mess up the alignment. Ooh, are these... Is this gas tank working? Ooh, I think it is. Hang on. I th we're not low on gas, but if we got free gas, you know, free gas is hard to pass. Let's back this jalopy up a little bit. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn you off just in case. we got to do some exploring. I've got some flares on me if I need to. Are you free gas? There's not a lot in here. But you know what? I'll take any little bit of free gas I can. Maybe it'll top off the tank. Nice! Thank you, game. Appreciate that. So I do have a couple flares. Let me see. Where We have seven flares. Let me put one of those in my hand right now. There we go. Now we can kind of light up the air. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's light a flare right next to the gas tank. That sounds like a good damn idea. Oh, I need my scrapper to get in that one. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? Need a guide? I need a flashlight. So I'm not having to run base just on flares alone here. What do you do? Why do I feel like that's a bomb? What do we have here? A sword shifter. <gasps> Ooh. Nice. Can I put that on my... Um, can I put that on my car? That would be kind of cool. If I can, like, change up the shifter and stuff. That'd be awesome. More duct tape. That's going to be nice. I can't craft duct tape right at the moment. I feel like that's definitely one of those I need to learn how to do as soon as possible. If I even can learn how to do that. Empty can. All right, so flares don't last that long, but not that big a deal. What do we have back here? That looks... Oh, that's the... Okay, so that's an anomaly. See how it's glowing green, and as soon as I went into it, my radiation level went up? Yeah, that's not safe. <laughs> Pro tip, don't run through the glowing green things. Yeah, I get you. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to get my... For starters, let's see. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here that we don't need right this second. Uh, road flare, and I'll put... No, actually, I'll keep you with me, and then I'll get rid of you over here. Where's my scrapper? Put you over here. All right, let's get what we can from inside here. If there's anything inside. Yeah, if nothing else, it's parts. Flare, pieces, stuff, and things. Okay, cool. Oh, hell, the instability is getting closer. Get in the car. Get in the car. By the way, the longer you're in an area, the more the instability grows towards you. Oh, hey. Um, that's not good. Hold on, let's go this way. Let's follow the road still. We can deal with a little bit of radiation. It's not end of the world. You don't start growing a third arm immediately. It takes a little while to get your extra arms. Um, am I going straight towards that? I don't know why you're leading me towards the gigantic looking death portal thingy. It looks cool, don't get me wrong, but is this really the safest thing to be doing at the moment? No response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to higher ground? Uh, sure, why not? Let's just drive all up in the middle of it here. Hey, surprisingly, the uh, radiation's not as bad right here. Um, is there like a... It's dark. Hang on. Hang on. Let me... Uh... Okay, so we're good on health. We're not actually taking any damage right at the moment. Now, once we get out of the car, we'll start taking damage. Because our radiation level goes up. All right, let me we can see what we're doing. This looks like the only building that counts as a building. Oh, I see a bridge. Okay. Now this is all like, um, those things right there will latch onto your car and drag them away from you. And then you got to chase them down. It's a whole lot of fun. Let me tell you. I, 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 am I supposed to do some like, uh Oh, okay. So I can't parkour. Not very good anyway. That totally looks like the direction I'm supposed to go to get up there. Uh, that's just power lines. That's not going to do it. Am I supposed to straight parkour up there? Because it kind of looks like it's the only option. This is insane. I don't know. Wait a second. Hold on. We got... Ooh, there's a bridge way over here. Am I supposed to... Hang on, I bet I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to get in the old jalopy and floor it, and we're going to have to 
dukes of hazard this thing where is my car at oh it's that way okay top left hand corner gives you an arrow and how much distance you have to get back to your car since it is your saving grace you definitely want to know where that is at all times so i very much appreciate the fact that you did that i love that look at that like glowing car door that's so cool it's like every kid in the 80s and 90s bedroom that's what our ceilings look like it's old reliable okay so i need to swing back around and figure out how to get on top of this bridge this doesn't seem like something the Griswold Family Flyer is going to be able to manage here. Yep, that's not going to happen. How do I get on top of this place? Yeah. Uh oh. Build protection compromise. What? Oh, I damaged the hood. Way to go, Cap. Way to go. Well, let's just keep doing it, shall we? Let's go up here just a smidge. Get outside this radiation zone. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Park you right there. Our vehicle needs a little bit of TLC. Just a little bit of TLC. You stay over there, okay? All right, repair pace. Let me slap a little bit on you. Crude panel needs a little bit of love. This is our magic pace, by the way, where all you have to do is just slap it on there and it fixes pretty much everything. Now, when it comes to something electrical, like the headlights and things like that, then you you still have to have electric electrician's kit or a mechanic's kit or something like that in order to be able to fix it. It'd be great if the sun would come up so I can see which direction I need to go. Kind of looks like we could go that way. Let's get in here and have a look at the old Atlas. Let me see. If I get up here, yeah, let's see, what are you? An anchor signal. Okay, so I need to go up this. Let's keep going this direction. We're, we're heading the right direction. Now, <laughs> we may have been slightly lost for a minute or two while we're driving around inside a canyon. That's neither here nor there. And definitely not back over there. Yeah, see, that is one of the things that you need in order to be able to get out of this place. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Open your door. Get out. So you need this. You just straight rip it up. It's a stable anchor. Boom's case. Wasn't there an old bridge around there somewhere? That's what Maybe I'm looking for. You the height you need. No, no, no. See how the instability happens when you take this little anchor out? Because these anchors uh, will hold the stability in place, but things like that pop up out of the ground, and that's what flipped my car. All right, so you put it in here. You charge the arc device. And once you get a certain amount of charge, then you can leave this place. But right at the moment, we're not going to have enough charge. I don't know exactly how much we have to have to get out. It kind of just depends on the area you're in. But let's keep following this uh, Keep following this road. Maybe that'll circle us back around towards where that little bridge is. And we can get up there and dukes of hazard this bad boy into the void. Nothing bad can come of that. Right, Shirley? Uh, hang on, let me double check. Yeah, okay, so I'll come up here. Let's turn our wipers on. Actually, that's not even rain. That's more like hail. I'm not sure our wiper blades are going to do anything with that. Okay, I need to get up here through this. Uh, we're going to floor it and see what happens and hope for the worst. Don't electrocute me. Okay, it's not terrible. Now I feel like we're driving in Twister, the movie. Oh, hell. Don't shock me. Vehicle protection compromised. I'm aware. I'm aware. It's okay. Look at that danger. That's just all kinds of bad. We are still heading the right direction. All right. This is insane, man. I don't have any more repair paste. I'm not quite sure if I can even make any more repair paste. I think that's what we're heading towards right there. We could get out and do a little bit of window shopping while we're heading towards the giant black hole in the sky. Uh, actually, I need to backtrack a little bit because I think I'm missing the bridge. Hope I don't back into anything. The back of the car is in fairly okay condition. There's a side street over here. Yeah, I totally feel like we're driving through Twister. This is like Twister the Ride. I love it. Love it. I'm a big uh, natural. I'm, not, I'm I'm a big disaster fan. You know disaster movies. I love those. They're my bread and butter. 
It's my go-to feel-good movie is watching a good disaster movie, and Twister is probably one of my, one of my all-time favorite movies of all time ever. So this totally feels like I'm getting a drive through there. I would play a Twister of the game. Hang on. We have to do it. I, we don't want to do it, but we have to do it. Hang on. Okay, we're in the middle of a tornado. We got a second. Here, let me grab one of you real quick. Throw a bandage on us because we're about 50% on life here. There we go. Get some life back. Let's run in here and see if there's any supplies. Crack open the hazmat cabinet and get some chemicals. It is a little dark in here, I'm aware. Hey, our energy, our health is all the way up. That's good. At least the lootable things kind of blink a little bit so it's not impossible to see in the dark. That definitely helps out a whole lot. Oh, nice. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Isn't there usually, yeah, usually these things have a closet like that. Sweet. Wait, what are you? A blowtorch? I don't have a... Can I fit you right there? I sure can. Inventory's a little full, but it's okay. Hey, nice. The storm passed. Things are looking... Actually, before I even try to do that, what I need to do is I need to put some more storage in here. There we go. We'll move all the stuff we can over here. Your in-car storage is pretty big, and you can also um, increase it. Like, I threw this little side rack on here. I haven't put any extra storage on there, but you can add more storage to it doing it that way. I'm going to run into the side of this one over here, too. Because we need all these supplies in order to get back and do any major repairs to our car. Or any major upgrades and stuff, we have to have all these supplies. So, we definitely want to get as much as possible. What you got for me? Stuff. Ooh, nice. Ceiling kit. <laughs> you need, the, like, ceiling kits are used when you pop a tire. That, so, that's what that kind of stuff. Electrical kits are for... Ooh, I need you for sure. Yeah, we got some repair putty. We can fix some things that are wrong with our vehicle. Steel panels, okay. Crude bumpers, okay. Spare tire. Oh, we need to use our ceiling kit on there. Let's do that real fast while we're here. It makes it so it's very, very hard to uh, steer properly when you got a flat tire. Okay, so you're okay. And I only have, you only have just the one ceiling kit when you use that, so it's not like a... You get one, you can fix all four tires with it. You kind of have to be selective. This one, let me see. You can do a scan on it with your headset, and it tells you what's wrong with it. Uh, fixed, none. So I can do, repair the damage on it, but it's got some electrical repairs that needs to be fixed, and I can't really do anything about that from here. Let's just fix what we can right at the moment, get our durability of our car up to at least functional. That way, if we at least bump into a few things, it's not going to fall off. Okay, is that better? It's yellow. It's yellow. That's not bad. Hang on, let's have a look at you. All right, so this right over here. Uh, we're okay. We'll keep driving through here and see what else we can find. I feel like we're going the right way. I don't know if we are or not, but I feel like we are. Yep, mm, we are. are. Still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about... Uh Launching the car into Cappy's core. Yeah! I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. What? No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Should be. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Right? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kit for it. Totally, but I need to remove the barriers for it. Wait, how do I? Circuit gate. Okay, so that's just the information behind it. Is there like a button I can push to open this here? Because if I floor it through this, I don't know. Call me crazy, but I just feel like it's going to total my car. Call me crazy. But I've seen how I drive. So we have to open the barricade from the control tower to access the Brit. Well, where's the control tower? Over there, probably, where, you know, a tower that looks like a freaking control thing. Um, you know what? Hang on, while I'm doing this, let me kill it. And turn the lights off. There we go. I don't want to drain the battery. I don't want to get like, oh, we can finally do this. And then I get over here and lo and behold, I'm out of gas or the battery won't light or something. 
because that's just, that's the thing too. That work? Kind of look like. Now please don't tell me it's on some sort of like timer system here, because that would suck. You got to like flip it and then run down there and drive like hell real fast. I mean, you can drive like hell anyway. Oh, that's the transmuter thing. A transmogulator. I might as well finish searching all the stuff while we're in here first. All right, what do you want? Seven rubber. I only have three on me. There's more in the car. I kind of want to see what that does. Inquiring minds want to know. Before we launch this bad boy into the abyss, let me see. I've got I've got some rubbers. Let's go try them out and see what we can do with this and see what this transmodulator does. Maybe it'll allow us to change our shape. All right, put you in there. And you gave me rubber, 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 and a gas cylinder. So is that what that does? You put some rubber in there and it gives you the gas cylinder? Oh, hey, calm down. Is that what you're telling me? Cool. Gas cylinders could be cool. Let's see. Tires look okay on this side. Looks okay on that side. Our jalopy is looking great. Let's put all this stuff up. Okay. <laughs> Looks like it's time to boldly go where I probably don't need to go. Wish us luck. Here we go. All right, Oppie, I hope you're on your game here because I think I'm only going to get one chance at this. By the way, this is as fast as I go, so I need you to make sure you're... Oh, sweet! Oh, dude, we got an achievement that says Great Scott. It says reach 88 miles per hour. Yes! Oh, hell! Uh, whoops. Hopefully that didn't do it. We made it back to the garage! I can hear you. Happy fried my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? Totally. The gateway to got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. Yeah, yeah. And my plan worked. Of course it did. Happy amplified the car signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car. Mad, I tell you. This long will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you. you out of here. The Are you? The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Totally. All right, so that's how you go about getting your the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Your stuff out of your car. You, you have this portable chest. You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Okay, I'll do that later. So you have this little transfer trunk that you can get. And when you do that, you open up your inventory over here. This is everything I have inside my car or inside my backpack. Actually, I did this backwards. Let's try that again. With it in my hand, come over here. This is my pack and this is all the stuff that's in my car. So I can take most of this stuff that's over here like this and put it over here so I can easily move this here. Sword shift, I'm going to keep you. Paint stripper, I'll keep you over here. Um, these I'll keep in the car. And then you come over here and you just drop it down. And now you have all of your stuff here. And it has like broadcast crafting abilities. Now, I want to see if I can install this bad boy. Will it let me install this here? I kind of I wants to use it. I don't know how to sure to go about using this here. This, well, it might be the under the detailing station. That maybe we have to do left. But anyway, you have this little trunk here, and anytime you gather supplies, as long as it's in here, then you can come over to the chest. And if you want to make like an impact hammer, it tells you how much of the stuff you have here. And this is where you learn to make all this stuff that you have. So we got to do some repairs to our car. Let's get the old battery charged real quick. That's how you charge that. Gives the battery full charge. And let's see the car's condition. It could use a little bit of love. It's got a few quirks. Shield's a little bit low. Gas is a little bit low. But gas is free. Hang on. What is our... Let me see what it's actually at right now. Our stability is at 0.7. So it did get to go up a little bit. So like if we were going to try and make the matter deconstructor. We're at 0.7 and we have to get to 0.8. So that's where we have to be able to get some more of that stabilized energy that we collect while we're out to do that. But anyway, 
that's going to do it for this video. That was a lot of fun. We got to launch our car into a black hole, basically. Hope you enjoyed that, because I sure did. We'll definitely be playing some more of this. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already, so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.